guys, welcome. Today I want to cover a really great project um, called Laravel Dusk. And Laravel Dusk is basically um, a way to automate testing of your application. Um, let's start by using Composer to uh, install uh, the system. So let me uh, just close this out. Stop my server from running. There you go. And then we can actually create a new test or use their test test. But I think I'm going to create a brand new test, test for this. So I'll say PHP Artisan Dusk. And you scroll to the top here. You can follow the documentation. There you go. Dusk colon make and whatever your test is. Dusk colon make and um, create. Actually, I could say create joke test. Just like that. As soon as you do that, you can look over here in your application. You can look under tests and under browse, you can see the, the joke test that we just made. So jokes, test, create joke test. The second test is basically looking for Laravel, which we don't need. So we can delete the second test. Right click this and go delete. Say OK. So we can create a, um, a new window right from here. CD. C WAMP 64 www jokes. So now we're in the same system, so we can say PHP artisan serve. So now we're running the server and we can run our tests. If you're running uh, this on a Linux machine, you're not going to run it with uh, PHP artisan serve. You'll actually have to configure your Apache properly for this. So there is um, so. At this point, you don't really know what's going on, right? Just throws you an error and you're saying, okay, I'm not sure what's going on. If you open up Dust Test Case and scroll down and disable headless mode, oops, this will actually allow you to see what your system is doing. Uh, so let's run it now. And now you should see Chrome pop up and you can actually walk. Oh, here it is. So you actually can't go to localhost slash login uh, we're going to need to run it um, port port 8000 for me because I'm running it locally like that um, so let's see here uh, so dust case great joke okay, so right here instead of saying login we could basically say um, colon 8000 login in fact we could probably even create and it's okay. Let's run. Let's make sure this runs well. Opens up. Well, this is wrong as well. Let me see here. That's gonna fail. There we go. HTTP localhost 8001. So I actually just put the full URL um, to make it make it more accurate here. Let's see here. Run that. And there you go, it asserts C welcome back and assertions. It's still risky because it, it didn't actually assert any C. Let's say assert C. Asserting basically returns that it was successful. Um, you have to have some kind of a successful output in the end, uh, whether it's uh, positive or negative. So in this case, when you assert C welcome back, it's a positive, and your test is running well. So what do you need for this to work? So you need to install Dusk, and you need to have the Chrome driver installed, and everything else pretty much works just as simply as I just showed you. Now let me create a new user account. I'm 
and one with a simple password. Bobby Bob plus nine hundred. Actually, we can say test at me.com. So, Bobby test at me.com. We'll copy this, paste, paste, register. This is going to be our test account. Um, and just say the email is going to be. Um, the email is going to be test at me.com, password is going to be test at me.com, press login, and then press, it should be Bobby. Um, and if you look at the database, that should be Bobby for the name. You should see, you should be able to assert C Bobby just that way. Or um, um, jokes dashboard. So let's run this and see how it does it. Login and home, a search C dashboard, and success. Well, actually, no, we got an error. It says unable to locate button Bobby. All right. Uh, I'm not sure why I did that. Oh, you know what? It actually took us, when we logged in, it actually took us directly to, um, I think it took us directly to the dashboard. It didn't take us to the welcome page, it took us to the dashboard. So we're already at the dashboard. We just need a search seat dashboard. So we don't need to, we don't need to actually click on the home page. Although um, we could, after pressing login, we could uh, assert C welcome like this. You could say wait for jokes dashboard like this. Then um, we can say visit, um, or we can actually press, I think it's this. So we can press jokes, no home, dashboard. We actually don't have a menu item here for clicking on the home page. What I was thinking is to show. Um, a user going um, back to the home page, but I guess we'll just visit visit the um, the home page now, like this. Then uh, press Bobby, and then you should see the jokes dashboard again. Or, or I could say wait for text welcome, um, welcome, which I think is a uh, lowercase. No, it's capital. Exclamation point. So it's W exclamation point. So here's our test. So we go to our login page. First, we start the browser. So when the test runs, go to the login page. Uh, in the email and password field, which is located, um, I think if you log out, which is located, inspect right here so you have email ID email email and that's email uh, and password or type is password so that's our password and then press login you can wait for text jokes dashboard which gets us to the dashboard um, then it visits this spot and then it waits for this text and then it presses Bobby again to bring us back to the dashboard so basically it gives us the whole flow of things right so let's run this. One error. It says, I will locate Bobby. So we need to wait for, um, as soon as you see welcome, we need to wait for, oh, I guess visit would open a new browser. Why didn't it? I think, I don't know if visit does it. Actually, I don't know if I want to do all this. It doesn't really matter. I, this is, it's too much. Once you log in, you assert C, jokes dashboard, you're in. Um, the second test, that's, that's, that basically gets us into dashboard. The second thing I want to do is create the actual 
the, the actual joke. So here we'll say create joke. And then in this case, once we're already in, so it'll be, I think it's uh, test.me.com. So once you're in, oh, that's why it does that. So I'm actually taking, if you go directly to login, and then it takes you into the dashboard. If you have a specific page you're going to. Anyways, the next button we're going to click is this one. So once we assert C joke dashboard right here, which is the same flow, we'll uh, inspect this and we'll need to press submit joke. So here, login, we'll say wait for text, I think, that's how it is. Then we'll say press submit joke. Then we can wait for modal, which I think this one has dot modal. So when available, modal, Then we'll say browser when available dot modal, so the modal that pops up right here. Then we'll use, um, we'll fill this name with joke title, so we'll say um, assert C. No, we won't do that. We'll say modal type. This is going to be a test title. And then there you go. So, and then inside of the description. We can actually do the joke descriptions, so we can say uh, inside of test description description that test title, test description, and then um, we'll do, we can actually uh, upload files as well. I don't know if I'm going to show that right now. And then we'll say press save changes. So we'll say press save changes, just like that. Now um, that should that should submit it, and then uh, right after that, uh, we can wait for text to appear. So in this case, if you come back here and say, you know, this this hit it, we just need joke submitted successfully. So we can say, um, wait for text. Joseph man successfully and that should actually you can even say assert C should we assert C we'll say wait for text and then assert C We can close it. So then we can say close. What can we do with this? Yeah, so we can.
type in trigger close, and then we should see our joke title right there. So here, actually, I probably don't even need to do it that fancy. I can just do close. So I can do wafer text joke submitted. Then I can, then I can press uh, close. And then I could assert C the actual joke title, which is test title, there, and we're done. Now you might think, why are we doing all this? This is so dumb. Well, it's very important because when you introduce new features to your system, you want to ensure that you didn't break the old features. The first one it, is usually this difficult because you're just learning the layout of your uh, application. Perfect. So we have two tests, everything's good. The only thing is, you created a weird one. Um, I noticed just really quickly that it created one that's called T. It's almost like it didn't, ins it didn't get a chance to insert everything. Let's run the test one more time just to confirm that it actually works the way we want it to work. It almost didn't have a chance to sit there. It is. It just moves so fast. Um, great, the test is good. So let's say now um, we don't need this anymore. So it looks like what I was wrong. I was wrong here. So the second function uses the session of the first function. So that's great. And then we. I just needed to make sure to do any type of assertions after I come out of my modal. So there we go. So nice little function, create joke test. So it logs you in, creates a joke, and everything's good to go. Uh, you can also create a user account if it doesn't exist. Um, you saw this, I think, in this area. It actually tells you how to create using the user factory. Right above, right here. So you can actually create a user account on the fly and then log in with that user account. So you don't need to use an existing user account and you don't need to save it. So you can just create one just like that. So, but in this case, I think I have one already created, so it's very easy, but I could have also created one so that other users can, can function. So let's say now, um, I'm work oh by the way if you, if it, you can it actually saves screenshots of the failures as well so uh, there's a way to turn that on uh, anyways let's say we created a new feature and we edited something in let's say the home controller we made a slight modification here nothing big maybe we changed this from 25 to like 15 for example and then we're ready to push this to the server before you do Open up your test and run your test. Make sure that your basic features still function. Registration, login, creating a joke, uploading a file, whatever you have to do. Make sure that all your basic features, and if this looks good, then say, okay, yeah, push it up to the dev server. Um, check it out. Let's see how it looks. Then go live with it. Uh, ideally, you should have a test for every feature you have. Even if it's a minor test, you should have something in there that helps you test certain things. Um, this helps you keep your sanity and it helps your app to run uh, properly. Anyways, I hope this helped. I hope um, you learned something today. Um, the core of this uh, test is using PHP units, unit test and um, it uses the Chromium web driver. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment below and uh, we can apply some more tests.